Abortion access in Arkansas is behind the latest shakeup for this coming November election. The state Supreme Court gave a proposed amendment another chance at getting on the ballot. Neil Zarang reports this still leaves the door open for the Secretary of State or supporters of the amendment to prevail. An order from the Arkansas Supreme Court Tuesday night gives Secretary of State John Thurston a Monday morning deadline. His office must count the signatures gathered by volunteers for the proposed abortion amendment ballot initiative by Monday at 9 a.m. Over 90,000 valid signatures are necessary to meet the threshold to appear on November's ballot. Thurston's office said Wednesday they have seen the Arkansas Supreme Court's order and will comply with that directive. Shortly after over 100,000 signatures were turned in on the July 5th deadline, Thurston rejected more than 14,000 because he said they came from paid canvassers who lacked legally required paperwork. The fight right now is whether or not those should be counted. Arkansans for limited government are advocating for the amendment. They sued after they say they provided the required documents and were given no opportunity to fix the error. An error the state's top attorney called a failure for which they only have themselves to blame. Attorney General Tim Griffin adding, I am pleased with the Arkansas Supreme Court's narrow order. His opposition is also pleased. The attorney general's argument, initial argument in his filing, got slapped down a little bit by the Supreme Court, so that's encouraging for us. Sam Watson says the court's decision validates the work of hundreds of volunteers and thousands of those signing the petition. However, the future of whether abortion access gets expanded in November still awaits another court motion. What is happening, um, you know, we, we can't really say. That's going to be up to the Supreme Court. A minority of Arkansas Supreme Court justices wanted to grant Arkansans for limited government another 30 days to collect the signatures they needed to meet the requirements for the ballot along with their order. We will see if the recount due Monday morning sways more the justices.